All right, this is pretty cool. So we learned before the game that Dick Butkus had passed away at the age of 80, uh, and the Washington Commanders paid tribute to him tonight before the game. Pretty cool moment there. Uh, and then how about this? All these fans wearing their Butkus jerseys to the game today. A really special tribute to him and of course the Bears snapping this losing streak and then back home here in Chicago at the United Center for the Blackhawks game the, the team also paying tribute to one of the greatest Bears one of the greatest linebackers one of the greatest players maybe to ever play the game coach Juan said I know you knew him really well personally professionally what can you share with us about just kind of the memories and the legacy he leaves behind well you know, it's it's obviously it's you know we feel terrible for his family and for all Bears, but you can't say the word Chicago Bears anywhere in the country without, you know, That's Dick right, Butkus yeah. being one of the names. You know, yep. that comes up. But he he did the radio when I was coaching here, and it was kind of a neat thing be, because before every game he really would meet me on the field early. I'd go out early, and he'd want to talk about just the nuts and bolts, the X and O's, what we're going to do on offense, defense, special teams. And he really enjoyed it. And we, we, and then he would get into a story back when he played and the guys and all that stuff. And uh, so it was a little bit, uh, it, was, it, it was fun to be with him. I mean, it was very educational for me to hear the past Bear stories when he played and Coach Allis and everything. So it was, it was a neat thing for me and something that I'll always cherish. How about you guys? Any memories or special moments that you can share with us? I just think, you know, he's he's the original monster of the Midway. Yeah. You know, he's homegrown, went to Illinois, you know, drafted to the Bears. Yeah, like he's 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 the epitome of, of Chicago Bear, you know, and um when you talk about getting drafted to this team and they say, Hey, you know, uh this is it's a defensive city mm -hmm. and they love their linebackers. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like that starts with Bill George and Dick Butkus. You know, he set a bar and uh, to play great, to be a great linebacker here and or, or to be recognized as a great linebacker, you know, it, 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 that means that you carry the flag that Dick Butkus started. And to do it, and to do it on teams that weren't very good, you know. Mm -hmm. So he, he gave that effort. You saw that effort week in and week out uh, when he played. And I remember... Just growing up, I'm, I, I like to think of myself as a historian of football, and I like to know about football and watching highlights and stuff. Back in the day, it was you see that one film where his hands are kind of like this and they're taped up, and he just like, – it, it's just tough. And I'm not going out there without my gloves. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Big white ones, <laughs> too. Like, you see him out there, it's just <laughs> tough. And, yeah. Like, and, and Briggs is right. Like, he, everything about him screams Chicago, right? It's just – tough, hard nose, like, will get on you and for no reason at all. Just, they, just I don't know. I, am, I, I was very fortunate to run into him a couple times. And I, just to say hey to somebody like that, um, a legend of the game is unbelievable. I'm, I, I, I'm with Coach, too. Yeah. Like, uh, his family, our hearts go out to them, prayers yeah. go out to his family uh, they left behind. But, I get man, a, what a legend. I got a picture. I'm on a big group text with a bunch of guys that, that played back, and Richard Dent had a picture of him, Otis Wilson, a bunch of guys at the Green Bay game yeah. mm -hmm. this year, right? Yeah. I mean, so he was, he was just here. You brought up an interesting thing because you said the monsters at the Midway. We know that our division, right, the NFC North, as it was, is known as the black and blue division. Yeah. And when you say black and blue division and then watch Dick Butkus' highlights. Right. Yep, that's why. There that's it is. why. That's <laughs> right. why. There that it is, is why. why. The original yep. monster. Coach, Man. you brought up the Green Bay game. And one of the cool things about Dick Butkus is that he had such a presence on social media and he just made himself such a such a fan of the game and a fan of the team and uh, we have a couple of tweets that we want to show you that he was just tweeting a couple of weeks ago and just tweeted this on September 17th go Bears you know and and then here's the picture from the Green Bay game somebody give me some pads and a QB to tackle I mean this guy was he loved this game he loved this city he loved this team and I think you know it, it's it's shocking and it's sad because of the presence that he had here in the community and it's mm -hmm. Field and we were watching some of the highlights before the game they were showing mm. on, on TV and I mean I was watching I'm like I can't believe they would hit like this you know mm. it, it, back then what 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 did you guys kind of take away from who he was as a player and maybe the way that he shaped the NFL and the way the position was played 
I've seen a few guys. I've seen players like Deacon Jones lead with his foot. You know, there were just <laughs> there were some things that I I, I saw from the uh, from football back then that you know obviously it's all been ruled out and now yeah. even more of it's been ruled out. But you know when you talk about black and blue division and you talk about toughness and you see guys on the sideline with smoking cigarettes. Yep. Oh, you yeah. know. There's a there's a diff, there's a different level of toughness, and every year you come in like the rookies, the older guys say you guys are soft. You know, you guys are soft. Always. So every year, mm-hmm. and by, when you know when the rookies came in when I was older, I'm like you guys are soft. You yeah. know, it's mm-hmm. it's yeah. the training of the kind of kind of a, a training of the guard. You know.